Ladies and gentlemen, well, everyone on the channel, what's up, bros, guys, girls, everyone that, well, there's not many girls that watch my channel, but there are a few. Shout out to all the girls that watch the channel. What's up? It's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. And I'm hype. I'm hype because we're in 2022 and I haven't posted an actual gig log from any events in 2022 until this one. This right here is the first gig log of 2022. And, uh, I was debating on what I wanted to make the title of this video, if I wanted to make it like related to what I'm about to talk about or just make it a general gig log. It's a general gig log, but special announcement and a uh, big shout out to all the supporters, everyone that supported me all this time. This is actually officially my first week full time DJing. For anyone that didn't know, um, I've been doing like a dual basically life of running fusion sound and lighting and also being an engineer. I've been an engineer for the last four years now. And I officially cut ties with engineering. I'm doing DJing full time. Um, shout out to everyone. Uh, I'm I'm stoked. I'm stoked. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be dope. I get to post more content. We get to go ham. But anyways, I'm gonna take you guys back just a few weeks ago for a wedding that just happened. It was lit. It was dope. We had this cool setup where we had like ceremony in one area, cocktail in another, dinner in another, and then we partied inside the barn. It was lit. They loved tequila. They had a great time. Let's get out to the gig log. What's up, everyone? We're out here at a barn just outside of Chapel Hill. Um, they are setting up the tent right here for dinner. Inside of here, to the focus is, is going to be where we're going to be doing dancing. So there's a lot of different areas working out today. We have dancing inside of basically this barn. All of the dinner is going to be out in the tent, and then ceremonies off to the side, and cocktail is in a different room as well. So literally, there's four different spaces being utilized today. We had to fit all the gear into my rental Highlander right now because my truck is actually getting a little bit of body work done from a little nick that happened at a wedding. Basically, it was hooking the trailer at a wedding back in November, scraped up against the pole because I couldn't see it because it was so low because my truck's lit. Anyways, don't have the truck today. Don't have the trailer either, so we were limited on the gear we could fit into that bad boy right there because all the U-Hauls were sold out. Took a little bit of a gamble because uh, the truck was supposed to be done yesterday and they literally texted me on like Friday morning and said that the truck will not be done. And then I tried to get a U-Haul, couldn't secure a U-Haul. So we fit everything into the Highlander though. We have the bun booth today, pretty excited to have that. We have the collapsible totems which take a little bit longer to assemble. Um, we did fit the LD Maui 44 G2s. We're actually using one in here, one in the dinner space, and then we have a Maui 5 Go to use between ceremony and cocktail. A lot of stuff going on today, pretty excited. We're gonna get set up and rocking and rolling. So I'm gonna set the camera up somewhere and film our time lapse setting up the inside here with our totems, movers, and uh, the bum booth and all that. So let's go. They're setting up up here. We have a speaker inside, outside. We actually already got a, a sound complaint from the owners about the one. I only had one LD Maui 45 or 44 G2 in there. I played it up until the limit. I just want to see what it could do in that room. They're already telling us that's way too loud. Like, of course, all the windows, all the doors are open to that place. So, but we have another one that we're using for the dinner portion that they didn't want us to set up. And I'm like, I need a speaker there so that people can hear toast. Anyways, we're over at the ceremony site. Check it out, pretty dope. It's all up on this like deck. And then the big thing over here. Maui's over there, Gabe's over here setting up the ceremony rack. And uh, I got the backpack with the laptop so we can tune all that out and be ready to go. All right, so we're all set up back here for the ceremony. You got the ceremony rack as always. This is not the new one that you guys have seen in the videos with where we use the Jackery. It's down there as a backup because of the speaker mostly because we're going to be using that speaker for quite a bit even though it should have more than enough battery honestly. But two of our audio technical 3000 fourth gens running our lapels, HP 14 inch laptop, Serato white mode so you can see it. I'm probably going to be using a dead cat filter right here on the one lapel for the efficient because it is a little bit windy today. Yamaha MG06. This is our little setup. We did run the LD Maui 5 Go. We put a little mat here. It's all the way up here, which I'm going to shut off so that way we can conserve battery. And we're going to go now back over to the reception site because I got to move the car. Yeah, because I need to move the Highlander out of their way so that way 
they don't complain anymore. Um, and <laughs> I speak negatively, but like I've been getting so many complaints from like every last little thing we do. Like I walk back over there and the movers are on and they're like, can you shut them off? They're very distracting. I'm like, okay, fine. They're like, Anyways, gonna move the Highlander, then probably gonna eat a little bit of Chipotle we brought with us. And they're still setting up the dinner. I think I'm gonna test my reception mic out down here, get changed. And we got like an hour before we start prelude, so. We're good to go. Always arrive early, man. You know, I think the best part about bringing a car instead of a truck and trailer to a, a venue is you can park wherever you want. They don't know that's your car. Unless they spotted you, obviously, but it just looks like a normal car. So that way they can't be like, no, DJ's got to park in the back. I get that a lot with the trailer, honestly. But anyways, uh, we're all set up. We're ready to go. I'll take you guys through a little tour of what we got on the reception side. We're going to get the uplights all placed around. But honestly, this has been a very quick setup, especially for how this isn't our quickest setup, like the the... The big uh, turntable booth and the audio rack, that's the quickest way to set up by far. That's like a 20 minute setup, but we knocked this out in about an hour. So, good shit. Ceremony getting started. We actually moved because apparently the bride and groom are coming over there. And there's power right here. And there's a patio, I didn't even see the patio. Lapels are already set and ready to go for the officiant and the groom. And the Audi LD Maui 5 Go is rocking. What's up everyone? So, if you hear right now from the speaker, come over here Gabe, I wanna listen. You hear this loud kind of buzzing noise? So we just went to hook up the microphone that we're running from there. We're running an RCA over to this board. RCAs are not grounded, so they're susceptible to electrical current and can cause this buzz right here. Um, I knew that this was caused from the mic because as soon as you turn the mic on, it happened. So one common thing you guys should know is laptop chargers cause a lot of that. Laptop chargers, especially cheap Chinese knockoff ones, they're what causes that buzz. So what you can use right here is a ground lift. This right here. So basically it just removes the ground plug. I'm just going to unplug my laptop charger here. Plug this in. And voila. We're back plugged in. No more buzzing noise. And we're all set and ready to go. Just a little pro tip for you guys. A lot of you guys kind of contact me about like hearing buzzing from your speakers. It's not uncommon to hear a little bit. When you hear a loud one like that, what you have is a ground loop going on somewhere in your system. Um, Quick troubleshoot is always normally your laptop charger, especially in my case, this is a knockoff kind of Chinese replacement one. So a little pro tip for you guys out at the wedding today, but me and Gabe are about to go over introductions and rock this party later on. Let's go. Long ago, Good. 